Hi everyone, welcome to Forensic Examination 6 Bits and Bobs. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to talk to you about bits and bites and nibbles, uh, which is actually a real term. Um, we're going to cover sectors and clusters as part of um, how data is laid out on a hard drive. I'm going to talk to you about the master boot record. Um, we're going to talk to you about partitions as well. Uh, I'm also going to cover slack space, all right, which uh, as a forensic examiner can be very important to you. I'll cover that, uh, I think, as part of the sectors and clusters uh, section. Um, it is going to be mainly a slideshow in this video, I'm afraid, um, although I will be showing you a bit of uh, editing of the master boot record using a hex editor in uh, Windows, all right, using a free hex editor, um, and I'll show you how tinkering about with the master boot record you can hide data or um, uncover data you know depending on which side of the fence you're on obviously okay uh, this is binary as you should probably already know uh, binary uh, is made up of bits which can be a zero or a one um, zero meaning off one meaning on okay um, this number here if you wanted to work out what this actually what number this ma is made up, what you would do is uh, if you just place underneath um, starting at 1, 1, 2, 4 and double up for as many as you want okay and then what you do is for every number that has the 1 above it add it into the next number with 1 above it so 1 would be plus 3, plus 8, plus 16 and so on okay uh, just the answer to this is 635 alright give it a go you can do it with any number um, just just thought I'd show you that. Uh, a byte is 8 bits, okay? So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all right? That there is a byte, all right? And as it says, uh, will allow for a value between 0 and uh, 255, all right? So, uh, if you were to add all these up here, between 128 and 1, it would come to 255, all right? Um, don't forget that zero is actually a number as well. So that allows you for a range of 256 characters, okay, or in hex. Remember we looked at hex in the last video, all right? That allows for a hex uh, character 00, zero to FF, uh, sorry, hex value of zero, 00 to FF. If you see me put numbers together with 0x in front of them, uh, it means it's a hex number, okay? And that there, that 00, zero and that FF, they that is a byte okay um, if you check out this URL here it will take you to a web page that contains two ASCII tables all right and the total number of characters in that ASCII table is 256 characters okay um, so that allows you to reference between 200 uh, zero and 255 will allow you to reference these 256 characters um, if you remember from the last video I talked to you about Unicode um, I think of the last video, uh, which, as it says here, assigns two bytes per character instead of one, and that allows for 32,768 characters. Okay, so there's a, a hell of a lot more uh, symbols available to you for when you use Unicode. Okay, but obviously it takes up twice as much space. Um, a nibble is four bytes, really. Uh, so that there. That one zero or that one F would be a nibble, okay? You will need to know that, uh, you won't need to know for this video, but you would need to know that and use it in certain areas of forensics when you want to do hex calculations um, on data layouts, things like that. Right, a sector, okay? Now, a sector is uh, the smallest amount of data that can be written to a hard drive or other media. So, um, a sector at a time can be written, all right, and they are typically made up of 512 bytes of data, all right. So, um, a cluster is typically made up of four sectors. All right, this can all be changed. You can all change this when you when you set your system up and when you format a drive. This is all you can manipulate this to be whatever you want. Um, when I was formatting a USB uh, memory stick earlier on, it tried to assign me with eight. Uh, sectors per cluster which I limited to four just for the purpose of this video okay so like I said a cluster is typically four sectors and is the smallest amount of space a file can occupy 
All right, so even though the smallest amount of data that can be written to a hard drive is a sector, all right, if you wanted to write the file, regardless of how large it was, uh, unless, of course, it can fit into the MFT, it's an, if it's an MTFS system, if you remember me telling you, uh, a small enough file can fit into the actual MFT entry for that file, all right, but assuming it's not, uh, a whole cluster will be taken up on the drive. So this is going to be uh, 2048 uh, bytes, all right, which is 2K. All right, so because if if each of these is 512 bytes, that makes up your cluster. So slack space, okay. Now that is the space between um, the logical end and the physical end of the uh, file. All right, so. If I've got a GIF image and it's 1280 bytes long, all right, and it stops there. So this area here is full of the data that, comp that is comprised in that GIF file, da -da 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 -da, all the way to the end here. This space here is left alone, all right? As far as the file system is concerned, if this was an NTFS system, for example, um, it would take up, as far as the system's concerned, it takes up the four sectors here. All right, it takes up 1280 bytes, which is less than 24, uh, 2048, um, which leaves you with this space here. Now, this is called slack space. All right. Now, this can be important in forensics because if your file, um, if the file that was in this space before the GIF image, all right, it, the GIF image has overwritten the file that was here before. This area here is still going to belong to the file that was there previously and can contain data of interest to you. It could contain an image, um, albeit a small one. It could contain text of a file. Um, it can be an absolute gold mine. All right. Um, so when I say physical and logical ends of a file, all right, that is the logical end of the file there. The physical end is there. All right, so the physical size of this file is 1280. The, uh, sorry, the logical end of this file is 1280. The physical end of the file is 2048 there. All right? That's cluster. Each of these are sectors. There's your file, slack space. Slack space is very important. Okay? Um, what we got next? Right, the master boot record. Okay? The master boot record resides at sector zero, or the first sector of the hard drive. All right? Um, this is uh, the master boot record for uh, a secondary hard drive I've got installed in my computer. All right, um, I'm going to show you the master boot record on uh, a thumb drive, which I've had to play about a little with. It's not going to look like this. This is all uh, boot code. There won't be any of that. Right? You can see there, invalid partition table, error loading operating system. That's the error that will be presented if... Um, the computer was to run through this on boot and not find an operating system, okay? So, like I said, this is the master boot record. We can ignore all this for now, all right? So, 446 bytes here, uh, we can ignore. In total, uh, this is 512 bytes. Remember I said one sector is normally 512 bytes, all right? Uh, and this is one sector of data. If we were to sweep in, like I've done in the screenshot, all right, 446 bytes, for the next uh, 64 bytes, which takes us to this zero here, you can ignore that bit, all right, there's 64 bytes between here and there, and that allows for four partition entries, okay, at 16 bytes each. Now, if you were to look at... Um, the first 16 bytes, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It ends there, all right? Now, in that 16 bytes, it will tell you, all right, if it's a bootable partition, all right? So, if it's a bootable partition, the computer will go straight to the partition and look for an operating system to boot, all right? Um, which is that flag there. Now, as you can see, that's a zero, so it's not bootable. Like I said, it's my secondary hard drive, so it's not going to be bootable, all right? The starting cylinder heads and sectors address is one, two, three. Now, you can ignore that unless you're using, I think it's Windows 98 and Windows ME, all right? Um, 
Newer versions of Windows use logical block addressing, all right, which we'll come to in a second. So, byte zero, bootable, bytes one to three, uh, which is one, two, three there, start in the cylinder heads and sectors. Byte four, which is this guy here, all right, is the partition type. Um, you can Google um, partition types and it'll give you a full list of what's going on. I haven't put one in the slideshow, sorry. But that seven is an NTFS partition type, okay? You can look it up on the table and that'll be NTFS. I can't remember any others off the top of my head, sorry. But look it up. Um, there's a massive list of uh, partitions types, okay? Five to seven, uh, which is one, two, three, uh, sorry, uh, five, six, seven, these here, is the end cylinder heads and sectors address. All right, like I said, if you're using 98 or Windows Millennium Edition, uh, these will apply, otherwise newer ones will just use the logical block addressing, all right, which is one, two, three, four here, all right. Um, that there will take you to the start of the partition. All right, you need to. That's it. Don't forget, it's a hex value. All right, so you need to work that out. Stick those four there into uh, five, six, seven. Sorry, stick those three. One, two, three. Is that right? Sorry, five to seven. One, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. Sorry, it's those four. 8 to 11 is the logical block address, okay? Uh, that's a hex value. You'll need to work that out in order to know where to go, all right? And then 12, 13, 14, 15 is the size in sectors of the partition. Now, uh, if you were to put uh, 0, 5, 8, 7, 0, 7, 4 into the hex calculator, all right, um, let me see if I can get a hex calculator for you. Hold on for a second. Okay, uh, here's my hex calculator. If I was to knock in, um, I can't remember what it was now. Uh, 12 and 15, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So those four there, all right? So it's uh, 0, 0, 5, 8, 0, 0, 5, 8, 7, 0, 7, 4, all right? If I was to convert that to decimal, why is this not working? Hold on. Right, okay. I'm going to have to switch this over to Microsoft Windows, uh, the calculator, because I can't agree with this one. Hold on. I'm going to pause this for a second as well, because I need to switch over to another uh, video. Hang on.